curating and publishing your research with K browser is simple and powerful. What we want to do is I want to show you how you can create a page like this, a K bucket page using K browser. Every channel on this page is a folder in K browser. So you can see elections 2016 on the references we have journalists and then we have Middle East and issues and each one is its own folder. To curate news, I simply can drag the link down to my curation folders and enter it in folder I want to place it in. The program scrapes information plus the image if there is one available. It allows me to modify the comment. It allows me to pick my sources. This is uh, The Guardian. This one is The Guardian. The program has automatically escaped the author name. Sometimes you have to enter this manually. I can see if David Smith is part of my uh, current tags, which he's not, so I have to find his Twitter handle and add it here. And then from here, I can basically choose which tags I want to add to this article. And if there's not one already in my list, I simply enter it over here and save it. It's this easy for you to curate your research with KBrowser. You can also search now uh, your curation folders and the tabs. For example, if I search for election 2016, it gives me all of these hits. So whether it's a page or whether the link is inside of the curation folder. So if I double click on it, it's going to take me over to that article. We can also use our curator Chrome plugin to curate articles and publish them on KBucket. To curate with the curator, it's very simple. We have an icon in the toolbar. You simply click that. It's going to allow you to add the folder that you want to add it to, make modifications to the headline, scan for images, add your own comments, choose the publisher, choose tags, find the author, and save it. It's very easy to curate both in K-Browser and curate it.